Ship Operations Cooperative Program presents Onboard Anti-Piracy Measures for Mariners, Part 1 of a two-part DVD training curriculum. The purpose of this program is to provide ship owners, masters, and mariners with information and instruction to take the necessary actions to reduce the risks of piracy on the high seas. You will learn steps to take to reduce the risk of such attacks before you enter a high-risk zone and the actions you should take when a suspicious boat is sighted. Here you can see a number of incidents in Southeast Asia, across Latin America, and the area of the greatest concern, East and West Africa, which has experienced the highest number of cases worldwide. Piracy is easy money. Pirates take over a ship, seize a few hostages and millions of dollars in cargo, and wait for the shipping company to eventually pay a ransom. However, ransom payments seem to be the lifeblood of Somali pirates. Each new ransom paid further emboldens these pirates and perpetuates the threat. Somali pirates have created highly visible hostage for ransom situations. With an increase in piracy, ship's crews are called on to further increase their efforts in order to maintain a high level of vigilance for prolonged periods of time. Some ship owners may add additional crew to conduct watches or use other enhanced security measures such as surveillance and detection equipment while passing through or anchored in high-risk waters. Before your ship enters a high-risk area, the crew should have already practiced the procedures set down in the ship's security plan through drills and exercises. All vessels transiting a high-risk area are advised to take additional precautionary measures and maintain a strict 24-hour visual and radar anti-piracy watch using all available means. Seizure and threatening a crew member is one of the more common means of attackers gaining control over a ship. To prevent seizure of individual crew members by attackers, all crew members not engaged in essential outside duties should remain within a secure area during the hours of darkness. Evasive maneuvers such as zigzagging make boarding more difficult for pirates, but they can also slow a ship down. These types of tactics should only be used while a pirate's small boat is immediately alongside. The master may be able to use the vessel's wake or bow wave to push away or swamp the attacking boat. Steaming into the prevailing seas reduces any lee a small boat may have alongside and makes their ride extremely rough and uncomfortable.